Good morning, friends. Thank you for inviting me to serve on the SIA India Advisory Panel and for giving me the opportunity to say a few words to you today. Let me start by congratulating SIA India on its launch. India has proved itself on the global stage as a spacefaring nation to be reckoned with manufacturing satellites, launching foreign satellites into space, various space exploration initiatives, and even plans to send Gaganauts into space. There is no question that what India sets out to do with space, it will achieve sooner or later. But to my mind, the value of satellites in space has to go beyond Indian pride, competitiveness, and geopolitics. For any nation, the ultimate value of technological progress has to be in the difference it makes to society as a whole. And that is a statement that rings even more true in the post-COVID world. India is known for its space sector, but sadly also for its poverty and the huge disparities between rich and poor. Our sector can directly address major societal issues such as lack of education, access to healthcare, and all the opportunities that having ICTs can bring. By setting up SIA India, the sector now has a platform with which to amplify its voice and call on its administration to leverage its homegrown capabilities to turn the country and its image on the global stage around. I have been running the EMEA Satellite Operators Association, ISOA, for the last 16 years, and I know very well the impact that coming together and speaking with one voice can have. Space might be cool, but it's also niche. People don't know how it touches their lives. Satellite communications might enable transformational connectivity, but the sector is tiny compared with mobile operators. Without a unified effort to amplify the sector's voice, the sector will not be able to play its rightful role, and worse still, it risks being marginalized as access to satellite spectrum is eroded and given to mobile operators to support vendors who want to see 5G rolled out everywhere, rather than making sure that everyone in India has access to robust and reliable 4G. In my experience, associations often see an opportunity to lobby for funding. But I see the setup of SIA India as the first step in a call to action to the Indian administration to prioritize the needs of its disadvantaged communities. We are the only sector that can light up the darkest corners of India's connectivity map and give a voice to the millions who are today on the wrong side of the digital divide. In view of the COVID experience, the timing could not be better to come together through SIA. Whether we think of e-health, e-learning, or even giving farmers the opportunity to check, is it worth driving my truck of valuable crops to the nearest town? None of this is going to be possible without public support and without a unified call to action from the industry. Together, you have the power to make the invisible world of satellites and space visible to policymakers and citizens. With lunar probes and gaganauts, India wants to show its capabilities on the global stage. But what about showing that India is the one country that can make pioneering use of its satellite capabilities to actually bridge its digital divide and bring healthcare and education throughout the country? Indian projects like EduSat showed what can be done. Let SIA India now call for the scaling up of such projects across every village and the protection of satellite spectrum to enable the continued growth of this industry, which is unique in its ability to spread the benefits of ICTs evenly across the Indian population. I wish SIA India every luck in its endeavor and look forward to collaborating with you closely in the future. Thank you. Namaste. Hello, I'm David Meltzer, the Secretary General of GVF, the world's only global trade association for the satellite industry. The opportunities for the satellite industry in India have long been great, but a confluence of developments makes today a critical opportunity for the satellite industry. And it is particularly important that the vibrant communication satellite ecosystem in India be represented before the highest government levels for policymaking, regulatory, and licensing matters. To that end, and on behalf of GBF and its global membership, I am particularly pleased to welcome the establishment of the SATCOM Industry Association of India. 
As recently noted by BIS Research, the Indian satellite market has grown tremendously over the last few years with launches of hundreds of satellites. Today is a perfect time for companies in India to enter the space and satellite industry as demand for small satellites and mega constellations grows. The Indian government's Make in India manufacturing initiative is driving much of the opportunities for the space sector in India. And led by ISRO, India has announced a mission to land on the moon and human spaceflight. These initiatives are greatly influencing the opportunities for the satellite industry in India. These positive developments within India are mirrored by positive developments around the world. With the advent of the 5G network of networks, immense opportunities for the satellite industry exist to provide needed communications to people and businesses in remote communities, businesses and governments needing always there, always on communications links with far-flung offices and operations, and objects requiring constant monitoring in the form of the internet of things. Similarly, the continued deployment of 4G networks in India and around the world is fueling an explosion of demand for connectivity as mobile devices are used to transmit and receive data, voice, and particularly video, often brought by satellite. Finally, satellites serving the direct-to-home market in India are seeing a significant increase in demand of late. SIA's India mission of providing a platform for thought leadership, representing the Indian satellite industry before government, and collaborating to provide inputs from many stakeholders is a welcome development in the continued growth of the Indian satellite industry. On behalf of GVF's global membership representing the entire satellite ecosystem, congratulations and welcome to SIA India. Hello everyone, I'm Rajdeep, uh, Head of South Asia Business at AsiaSat. We are very delighted to convey our best wishes on the inauguration of Satcom Industry Association India. Indian satellite industry has made monumental progress in the space infrastructure technologies. We expect that the Satcom applications will significantly contribute into the next phase of growth in digital India and its grand plan to becoming $5 trillion economy. We are with these expectations that the association will bring together best in kind of systems, services and talent to promote the SATCOM industry in India. With that, I wish you all the very best and congratulations to the entire team of the SATCOM Industry Association. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. Dear friends and industry colleagues, space sector is undergoing transformation globally as well as in India. Recently, the Honorable Finance Minister announced opening up of the space sector, which was followed by a draft SATCOM policy, which was released by Department of Space. There can't be a more appropriate time to have a satellite industry body which becomes a unified voice for the satellite industry. I wish Satellite Association of India the very best. Greeting members. It's with great pleasure I have accepted to be an advisor for the SATCOM Industry Association, SIA India. So, what is my background? Going back to my academic career, I study microwave and satellite communication. My work has taken me to many places, including four years in India. I work with both terrestrial communication and satellite systems. I'm now based in Hong Kong, where I work with a system integrator into several areas of communication, including satellite systems. While there have been a revolution the last decade in terrestrial systems like mobile phone, we now see a similar trend for the satellite systems. As the costs are going down, new applications will appear and expanding into areas in our daily life. 
This will require stronger coordination and collaboration across technology and regulatory bodies. I will be very happy to support this association and hope that I can be useful for advice and suggestion. Thank you and to everybody, stay healthy. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Tony Azzarelli, Director and Co-Founder of the Access Space Alliance. And I'm pleased to provide this testimonial today to the launch of the SEPCOM Industry Association of India. Like the Access Space Alliance, which is a global organization, the SIA works to serve the emerging of small satellite companies which need sharing of experience and expertise in the field of financing, manufacturing, insurance, launchers, licensing, spectrum access, legal matters and more. The Access Space Alliance welcomes the establishment of the SIA and looks for active cooperation with the SIA and especially in the new space and small satellite domains. Best wishes from us all at the Access Space Alliance and we hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.